pool. Just relaxing, apart from going on that stupid slide. Hi, Evening. Hi. And thank you very much. Thank you. And now we are heading to Fathoms to play some Disney trivia because we figured we probably do, should do some kind of Disney activity while we're on board. So we're going to quickly go and do that. Um, then we've got to go to Shutters to collect some pictures. And then we want to pop to the shops as well before it closes. There's one or two more things we want to pick up. So, yeah. Hi. So yeah, off to Fathoms to play some Disney trivia. Let's see how I, I do at this, or we do at this. We should be all right. See how hard it is. Off to Fathoms. Other way. <laughs> So everything at the minute is like one way in, one way out. So we went the wrong way. Wrong again. It's D Lounge, I think, because obviously it's family. So it sh I should have clicked that it would have been D Lounge and not Fathoms. Rich is just going to take a picture of the after hour sign as you do. <laughs> yeah, let's hopefully find the right venue now. Snow's out meeting and greeting people. Well, waving at people who are going to dinner. <laughs> Oh. I was right, it was fathomed. <laughs> so we've just done the last little bits of shopping. I just know what it's done there. Um, just done our last little bits of shopping and now we're going to go to Fathoms and hopefully we will do this Disney trivia. <laughs> hopefully. We have made it into Fathoms. This is definitely where the Disney trivia is. We've not actually been in here at all. It's quite nice. This is like the adult. Not properly. Oh. This is kind of where we came to check that our app was working. We are sat in this funky little booth. Hello, hello. We won, <laughs> believe it or not. I'm quite shocked with that. Yeah. We get a medallion and everything. Ooh. Look at that. We got a winner's medal. <laughs> Can't believe we won something. No. We never win anything. That's awesome. Right, onwards. Uh, so we've just got back. Our turn down's been done. We've got a little towel elephant today. That's so adorable. So on the last night of your cruise, however long your cruise may be, if you don't want to walk off with your luggage the next morning, you need to leave it outside your room. I think it's by 10 o'clock. So if you're going for dinner at like eight or nine, excuse me, then you need to leave it outside your door before then. Um, you do get these kind of luggage tags brought to your room and then you just fill them out, put it on your bag and then leave it outside your stateroom door. You also get these little tip envelopes which have your name for your server, your head server, uh, restaurant manager and your stateroom host. Um, so if you want to um, add any more for those people other than what is automatically given to them, then you can do. Um, and then what you get is this little bit of paper which has all the different guys that you tip on it and you just tear them off and put them in. Just realized we've been here for well, day and a half, and we've not used, gone to the ice cream place, so you can get free ice cream on board, uh, and we've not done it yet. I'm not going to do it because I'm feeling a little bit bloated and a little bit sicky. I'm oh, I'm feeling a bit bloated and a bit sicky, but we're, um, Rich is going to partake. I don't blame the tequila, I blame the uh, ship, it's the motion the ship. Here we go, Rich is going to get some ice cream. <laughs> Well, you can't complain, Rich. It is included in your cruise. Is it nice? <laughs> so obviously, with it, it being the way it is, you can't go and serve yourself like none of the ice cream or the drinks or anything. So Rich is a bit disappointed with the size of his ice cream. Maybe it was sweet. But eight hundred pound ice cream. We didn't pay eight hundred pound for our cruise. But yeah, it's an expensive ice cream. <laughs> We decided to go and get a pre-dinner drink uh, in Keys, which is where we were this morning or this afternoon for our uh, tequila and wine, tequila and wine, tequila and margarita tasting. And uh, we want to go sit in Keys and get a little, little cheeky drink. So that's where we're heading now. Back to Keys. <laughs> Oh, 
do after the seminar? Very good, yeah, yeah really good. Oh my goodness. So I don't know if you can see, but we are really booking it now to get back to port. <laughs> so we've just been in Keys having some nice margaritas made by Marco, who was also our host for um, our margarita and tequila tasting today. He made us some lovely margaritas um, and we were just chatting to him. We were the first guests to be sat at the bar since uh, everything got shut down for COVID because today's the first day they've been allowed to have guests sat up at the bar. So there we go. We're famous, so we did a thing. <laughs> First people to uh, be able to sit up at the bar. So now we are heading to Rapunzel's Royal Table for our final dinner. Tonight in Rapunzel's we have pretzel bread. Yum. And with, I can't remember what they said. Mustard dip. Mustard dip. Lovely. Yeah. Sorry Rich, can you just reenact your no. face <laughs> when I said, he's like, oh I don't know what to have for a starter because there's a, uh, obviously there's a charcuterie platter, but he's already had a charcuterie platter today at Paolo's. And I was like, Rich, you could have a salad. It's under consideration. <laughs> <laughs> the face you gave me wasn't. <laughs> so we've just been brought some more pretzel bread because already I'm out. Snuggly, 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 snuggly. Clap, clap. So don't say clap, just clap. <laughs> All right, moving on. Stop, stop. No, don't say stop. Just it's a direction, people. Okay. And then lastly, not with your mouths, with your arms, you go quack, quack. Welcome to Rapunzel's Royal Table! Please help us welcome Princess Rapunzel! I can't oh, see it. <laughs> So I couldn't film it because well, I couldn't say anything because uh, the show was on, but Rich had the Snuggly Duckling platter, which is like a charcuterie platter. What did you think of it, Rich? I didn't have an appetizer there because there was nothing on there that I wanted. So. Not, even the kids menu. Not even on the kids' appetizer menu. So I am quite a fussy eater, I am aware of that. So I just skipped appetizer. But they did bring us some more pretzel bread, so I've just been eating this quite happily. <laughs> So my main in is here. I've that gone like for. An, sorry, that looks like an ideal meal for you. I know. So uh, I've gone for one of the lighter options this evening because there wasn't really anything I fancied on the main main menu. I would have tried the pasta, but no, I, which was like an angel hair thing. Um, so instead, I've gone for a oven baked salmon with a baked potato and grilled veg. Rich has turned up, uh, and it wasn't what he asked for. <laughs> so. They're uh, scrambling now to get him his 
his meal, but mine looks and smells lovely. <laughs> and is this by Magic? Witches has arrived. So what's that's the Flim Rider, uh, Flim Rider platter. Pork chop, belly pork, cabbage. It's in like a wine jus, looks lovely. <laughs> Sometimes you really can't just beat simple, good food. And that salmon was really, really delicious. I know it's not adventurous, it's not anything amazing and award winning, but it was a really good piece of salmon. <laughs> and I really enjoyed it. And I think I needed that today because we've eaten quite a lot of rich food today, I think. With the last two days, it's been quite a lot of rich, saucy kind of food. and. That was just what I needed tonight, so don't mock me. How was yours, Rich? Nice. Nice? Yeah. Enjoy it? Different. Yeah. That's when he that's that's what he says when he's not too sure whether he liked it or not. He goes, uh, it was different. <laughs> what was your favourite item? Belly pork. Belly pork. Dessert time nearly. I, can't what I, I think I've got the creme brulee cheesecake and then Rich has got the Oh, the Mother Gothel Black Forest Tower Gatto. See, so, yeah, we'll see how that goes. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, this is the vanilla sauce. Absolutely. Yes. So if you weren't so set on seeing the floating lights, I uh, never would have met you. In fact, amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Why I was late. Yes. Well, it's the perfect lantern. And then talk about these because <laughs> there was a, the lantern parade was on but our desserts have come so rich has got the black forest tower mother gothel's black forest tower i've got the creme brulee, creme brulee cheesecake which looks amazing and then um this was <laughs> was because there's very little bit left um this was a souffle which isn't actually on the menu here at this restaurant but um because we weren't doing Lumineers, Lumiere's for dinner, I spoke to Kamal, our um, fabulous server, and said that I was really disappointed that I wasn't going to get to try a souffle. And um, he brought one over. He got one brought over from Lumiere's. So thank you so much, Kamal. Um, and it is well worth it. It's delicious. So yeah, yum. So I've had to admit, admit defeat on the creme brulee cheesecake, but it was delicious. Rich managed to finish all his. To be fair, I did eat most of the souffle, didn't I? Uh, so I'm not a two dessert person. <laughs> Normally I'm not even a one dessert person. But yeah, one and a half. <laughs> but yeah, this was very, very good. I'd definitely get that again. I don't quite know what we're doing now. Um, it's quarter to ten. I think we're going to go watch the match on Mate Show. I think we should do it quarter. Quarter past I'm so cool. Honestly. But yeah. It's been, I'm so glad we got to come to Rapunzel's as well as Animator's Palette. So just, uh, we couldn't really see a lot of the show because there was a pillar in front of us, but it was still a really nice atmosphere and this restaurant is gorgeous. So I'm a happy person. Are you a happy person? Yeah. Yeah, we're very full of food. But I think we're going to make a move and head to uh, Fathoms to watch Match Your Mate. Should be a laugh. I've heard good things about this game show. It's Daisy! Just got out of dinner, we're having a little meet around. We've never been down this bit, so we're just having a look. So this is on deck four. Um, ooh. We are definitely booking it now, so everything's a little bit more swaying. And we are right down the back of the ship. 
front of the ship. And here are all the anchors and mechanical things. The size of that chain. Wow. Yeah, those are some pretty big chains. <laughs> definitely booking it now. Look at that wake. We are definitely moving and we are <laughs> so nearly home because there's Anglesey. That right there is Anglesey, so that's the Welsh coastline. Our house is over there somewhere. <laughs> but look how pretty this deck is. This is deck four um, and we're right at the front of the boat and looking down, does this not just give you Titanic vibes? <laughs> it really does. It just makes me think of the Titanic and there's just nobody out here either. It's so nice. What a lovely evening. So we are back in Fathoms in our little booth and uh, we are here to watch Match My Mate, which uh, is supposed to be very funny. So I'm looking forward to watching this and uh, just having a bit of a giggle. And then it's probably bedtime, I think. Probably. Yeah, I think we're both starting to flag now. We're quite lucky that we're on second second dining so we don't actually have breakfast till quarter to nine in the morning so we don't have to be up super deep early because we've already sorted our luggage it's literally just throw the last couple of things in our hand luggage get up get dressed and leave get up get dressed washed and go to breakfast so i'm sad that it's over so soon but you know it's only a two night cruise it was never gonna <laughs> it wasn't gonna take very long but today has i feel like today has gone on for forever and that we've got quite a lot done, haven't we? Yeah. We've enjoyed it, so yeah. Well, being up at quarter seven now. Yeah, to be fair, we were up super duper early, but I really wanted to make the most of our only full day on the ship, and I think we achieved that. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just gonna sit back and enjoy a bit of a giggle with Match My Mate. Back in the state room now, after watching Match Your Mate, which was very funny, although I think, I don't know, I think you need a bigger crowd for it and a better choice of contestants, I think. It was, there was very few tables in there because obviously it is the last night of the cruise, it's very late. We've all got to be up early tomorrow to get off the boat, so no one really around in the adult uh, areas tonight, but it was still good fun. But it's half past 11, I am knackered, Rich is knackered. We're gonna call it a night and uh, end this vlog again. I don't know if this is num vlog number three or vlog number four or number five, I don't know. But thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the morning. Oh, have a magical day and all that garb. I'm tired. Bye.